So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphibolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death should be brought early even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. Then, safe travels. Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg? You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So Cleon's in Amphipolis? Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I did what I thought was right. You hurt my reputation. I can fix that, Brasidas. Let me fix it. It's too late. Let me explain. I know you killed Nikolaos. You... How? You showed up in Magaris, and the wolf died. No explanation needed. That man destroyed my life, and they made him a general for it. I had no choice. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I we need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. Shut down! Now! 
The Athenian camp is ahead! Destroy it all!
Shit! Alexios, come now! So mercy! You turned her against us! My own sister! We lifted Themos up! We made her great! Unstoppable! You made her a monster! Then fight by her side! Teacher, you would have Themos once again! Her name is Cassandra! I beg you, this world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You will die, just as you lived. As a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. Uh. You're not worth the memory. That's it then. Mirini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Brasidas. I should have gotten to him sooner.
activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of Chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again.
saw. You've seen it too, then. It's beautiful. Isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Dirty drachmi? They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, she's impossible to control. She worked her way to the helm, and then she held even more sway than I did. Malaka. So you are after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Themos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you. And in the end, you didn't protect him. Maybe he'd be alive if you'd stop them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer toward a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. You should go. 
Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Alexios. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Alexios, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm. I should be extra careful in this area.
My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family. Home. <laughs> my sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring her back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned her mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> You didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our mother the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with the destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool, used by the cult! I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra!
When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. Thank you. 
what? You eat like a wild animal. Well, you are at the table. Tough crowd. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could. But it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. I don't think the gods can take credit for this one, Barnabas. An urn is only as strong as its potter, Alexios. Urns are pretty easy to break. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Best stay out of sight. Ella. Behold! I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain.
Phoebe. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Alexios killed the monger as an act of espionage. That's exciting. Write a scene like that. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To moving forward, we'll leave the past behind. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes feel like we've spent as much time at sea as on land. You may be right. We've traveled a lot together. I think it may be time 
I set off on my own. Of course. As much as I like you by my side, I can't expect you to stay forever. <laughs> I figured I'd take my leave while you still feel that way. It will feel strange, though. It will take some getting used to. Well, where should I take you? The docks near Athens should do. There are some others I'd like to say goodbye to as well. I'm sure they'll be sorry to see you go. To Athens. I sometimes pinch myself to make sure that I'm awake and that all we went through truly happened. With your writings, it won't soon be forgotten either. The world will be better knowing. My mind is flooded with the memories of all we experienced. Do you have a favorite? How could I possibly decide? You opened my eyes to so much uncovered so many secrets and mysteries that will change the course of the world. Your spear and all it suggests. Atlantis, the cult. None of those things are mine alone to take credit for. You were there through it all. How could I ignore what was so clearly in front of me? You couldn't, which is why you have as much of a claim to all we did. I wonder what the great Eagle Bearer will remember best from this journey. We've been through a lot, but I'm not sure anything will ever match Atlantis. To think, we are some of the only people to know of its existence, of your true father. Which you promised you'd keep to yourself. Of course, of course. You may be leaving, but I'll find you if I have to. I guess this is it. As much as I'll miss our conversations, this is where our paths diverge. Where is your path taking you now? To Thuri. What's waiting for you there? That's the exciting part. I have no idea. I'm not sure anyone loves the unknown as much as you. It only stays that way until someone cares enough to make it known. In Thuri, that someone will be me. Will I see you again? Our paths may cross once more, and I hope they do. If that comes to pass after all, it likely means something big is following, close behind. Then I hope our adventures are nowhere near complete. I've never been great at saying goodbye. To do so is to impart a sense of finality. And we have no way of knowing if this truly is goodbye. 
Good luck in your travels, Herodotus. I can't wait to hear what you get yourself into. I'll share my stories with you, so long as you bring some new ones of your own. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs>